up, Ikru? Welcome back to the channel. All right, I got a lot of uh, questions of how to overbolt and how to hack uh, my electric bikes. Since I'm working on my DRT today, um, I thought I would convey it, you know, visually because, you know, obviously you're watching YouTube because you're a visual person. In this video, we're going to be showing basically how I splice open my wire, how to install it, um, etc. Um, this is about like my sixth build. I do it on all my Cafe Racer bikes. I've done it on this RX. I've done it on this uh, Rev1. And now we're going to do it on this DRT. So when you're ready to do this project, uh, definitely um, cut off the wire from the controller. You can see here, open that up and have this uh, white wire ready because this, this is uh, what's going to detect your speed. I think it's pretty smart to cut it off here. That way there's enough wire length for this to go where you're going to be placing it. In this case, I'm going to be placing the controller up here and there's going to be enough wire to connect with the stock motor wires. In this video, we're going to be using this Yondai controller, uh, 70 bucks on Amazon. Here's the wire that I cut off, and again, here's the white wire that, that's going to return back to the original controller to detect speed. This way, you could use your own display for the speedometer and mileage. One of the first steps is getting a, a good enough length power wires. In this case, I'm using the XT60, and I extended it about two and a half feet. Again, that would depend on where you want to place your controller. You're going to need like a uh, voltage switch. This is like pretty cheap on Amazon, like 20 to 25 bucks. In this case, I'm going with a thumb throttle. I feel like it's just less fatigue. And voltage is all you really need because again, this setup we're going to track, we're going to use the original display. All right. If you don't already have this, this is like a... Well, I call it a, a wire cutter or a splicer. Get yourself one of these. I also bought, um, it's useful for these um, solder seal. Uh, it makes things uh, easy. It makes wiring connections um, pretty clean and solid in my opinion. There's two controllers that would work. You could get the $55 ones, um, also on my Amazon link. Or you could get the $70 ones, also on my Amazon link in the description below. So. Check out my gear Amazon link before asking me individually where I get my parts because I, I get all my parts on Amazon. I'm going with this one, the $70 one, because I've tested this for over a year already. And then that one, I barely tested it for like three weeks only. Um, so I know this to be reliable. So I'm just going to go off with uh, this one. This one accepts 36 volts all the way to 84 volts and maximum current 45A to 60A. This also accepts um, LCD speedometer display. Um, you could look that up in my Amazon link below, which works. But again, we don't need speedometer in this case because we're using the original display. All right, so find your hall sensors. It's typically this one with uh, five wires. And but what I typically do is we're basically going to join this to this. And it's just color matching. It's pretty easy. Except the white won't be matching with anything. This is my newest build. And this is what I mean by the other LCD display. This one tracks miles per hour as well. And I have this on my um, newest Super 73 RX. Kind of like this wire even. So what I'm going to do is just uh, make a cut all together right here. I zip tie these together because this is the these are the wires I'm mainly working with, and I'm just gonna cut. I'm just gonna have an even cut like right about here. Don't cut it too short because the longer the cables, the more play you have when you're placing it on the uh, on the frame. I'm just gonna begin splicing these wires, just opening them little by little. I basically just splice them for like I don't know, like less than half an inch, maybe a third of an inch. So this part, just take your time. I'm gonna like probably fast forward it on the video. 
All right, so obviously I've already uh, opened this up and kind of uh, got it ready for for today's video. Um, but now I just got to splice these, make a connection, I'll also seal them via solder seal. And uh, typically, typically these would be the yellow wires for the thicker uh, sensors. So what I do is uh, just grab these yellow thicker wires and uh, already place this before you insert the other wires. So these are preparations before you're splicing all the wires, really. I should have done it beforehand. Again, there's plenty of ways of connecting these wires. You could go with just soldering them. But again, I, I'm going with solder seal method. Um, I find it just easier for using a heat gun and it just looks cleaner versus just uh, solder and tape and all that stuff. This is kind of like a two-step, two-in-one in my opinion. It's kind of very therapeutic once you see the, once, you, once I use the heat gun to kind of like um, solder all of these together. It's kind of nice to see. It's kind of therapeutic for me once I, for that process is my favorite part of the, the whole wiring. So I'm just making sure we're meshing these wires in as neat as we can. All right, now I'm just going to heat gun it and then um, until everything is kind of together. So let's get the heat gun. Your switch or throttle part, it's pretty straightforward. Um, this piece already comes with your controller. You just locate the uh, electric door lock. You remove the piece that's there. You just swap it with this. This will allow you to turn on your controller. And uh, these bullets are pretty straightforward. Um, they go together pretty easily. Uh, I guess here yellow to red, and then blue to orange. And the, uh, the throttle part is really just a three wire. Um, it's typical black, green, red. You'll find that here. And you can see that I'm just going to again solder seal this because there's different connectors. But this one you just color coordinate. So this, this part's easy. Um, but I just want to make sure all our wires kind of just cooled up a little bit from the heat. Uh, I don't really solder seal the throttle just yet because I have to mount this the way I would like on the bike. Um, so I do this kind of the last part. Plug the XC60 in. And we got power, 54 volts. And this is obviously your throttle. All right, next step is putting the controller on the frame. Let's get to it. I just want to reiterate and summarize. We plan on using the original display, leave this white wire and connect it back to the original controller to detect your speed. I've already pre-measured everything and I planned on zip tying it right here, just as I did in my Rev, other Rev1 bike. So let me grab some zip ties. I've already loosened this part and added a washer so that it, so a zip tie could go through there. These things were already pre-planned last night, so something to consider. Not only that, I'm planning on putting a 60 volt today. My 72 volt will come later when, uh, when I have my storage case, which is on back order. The great thing about this mount, battery mount, and this bat, the 60 volt battery mount is it's exactly the same. So I could actually put my 60 volt here. I could put it here as well, as, as much as I can towards the back, so that the wires are kind of hidden within the frame this way. Coming out this way. Perfect. I mean, it's clean enough for me, but. Again, it might not be clean enough for other people, but again, my storage container is in back order, so we're gonna, that should hide everything once every, once that arrives. 
Now it's just really connecting these wires. This white wire, again, I'm going to find an extension to connect to this white wire, original controller. All right, from here on out, it's just a matter of cleaning the wires. I finally installed my throttle. My line goes down here, and I, uh, I heat gun solder sealed it here. And the one thing to note, if you get this $70 Hyundai controller on Amazon, just color match the hall sensors and you're good to go. So once you plug it in first, right now I have a 52 volt battery. What you do is um, you also plug in the the white intelligent uh, wires together, plug that in, and then make sure that it's on a motorcycle or your kickstand, you're holding it up, and then throttle it a little bit and then give it like 30 seconds, it's gonna spin the right way. And then while it's spinning, unconnect it and you're ready to go. So for example, plug this in, lift the wheel up, turn on the ignition, but you would feather the throttle, give that a little bit of juice, and you could see that it's spinning the right, you'd be able to see that it's spinning the right way. So that's good, and while it's spinning the right way, unplug the uh, intelligent controller, and you're all set. Now you could do 52 volt, I'm gonna do 60 volt and 72 volt eventually, but now you can power this display on, and you can kinda see also that uh, I got my speedometer going. Phew. All right, folks. I hope this video was helpful. Um, I just wanna summarize again. If you're using the $70 Hyundai Amazon controller, just color coordinate it. And if you're using the $55 Amazon controller, inverse the black and the red wire. Um, also, I already extended the, the white wire that connects to the controller here. Right now it's colored black, and this goes on the, uh, the connector here, so that way my um, speedometer is reading. That way this controller is reading the speedometer, the speed. Anyhow, I hope this video was helpful. Go out there and overvolt some of these motors at your own risk. I'm just a guy on YouTube experimenting, but again, I've had success in all of my Cafe Racer uh, e-bikes so far. So it's a great way to upgrade your bike, affordable on Amazon. That's gonna be in today's video. Help out the channel by liking and subscribing. If you're getting one of these Rev1 bikes, which I highly recommend, definitely check out my link for additional discounts. Well, that's a wrap. That's gonna be in today's video. This is Julian signing out. See you guys in the next ride. Peace.